Hey, what's going on everyone? Justin again, as always, thanks for watching my channel. Welcome back. Today we're talking about Harbor Freight Tools, more specifically, 10 new items that Harbor Freight has recently come out with. Now, not all of these items are available at your current store, and if they are not available, I'm sure you can order them online because my Harbor Freight had about six of these items out of 10 currently available in store. We're gonna talk about today, kicking it off with the Icon Impact Phillips and Flathead Socket Set. Now this is most commonly used on brake jobs, whether they're rotors or drums. Sometimes you have a little tiny set screw, could be a Torx, could be a Phillips. Very rarely is it a flathead, but sometimes you do need that flathead for certain jobs, especially old school carburetors with stubborn and rusted flathead deep fasteners that go through the top. Okay. They did not currently carry this product in stock. I thought it was a pretty good deal for what it's worth, and I will put the picture over here. Hopefully it shows the price. If it doesn't, you can go to harborfreight.com and find out just for yourself under the new items tab. It will show you all the prices and details. I'm just gonna throw a little photos over here so that way at least you got an idea of what it is that I'm trying to share with you. Now these little tiny fasteners don't have to necessarily go back in the rotor or drum when you're done. You can put them back, actually it's a good idea to put them back, but it is what happens when the car goes down the factory conveyor belt. They get put on to secure the rotor before they put the wheel on. Now once the wheel is on and the lug nuts are torqued, that rotor is fixed to the hub. You don't have to worry about it come flying off because you don't have that little tiny uh, set screw or whatever in place. But nonetheless, I was decided to go down to Harbor Freight and see if they actually had them. They did not. They did have the Torx ones, but the other items were coming soon. Okay, but they weren't there yet. Next item up, the Yukon Toolbox. Now, everyone's been telling me that they were a killer excited that this toolbox actually came back into play. Not too sure why, because I don't think it's too much cheaper than the US Gen 2, US General. I know the Icon is up there in price, and of course, because it's of higher quality, but I think the Gen 2 is still the way to go but they did listen to your pleas as far as the Yukon goes because the other toolbox that was the Yukon that they went away from that platform to this platform, they realized was not a big seller. People missed the other Yukon. They loved that bear on there and most people just loved the bear in general. <laughs> I'll try to put his channel link down in the description because he talks about more Harbor Freight tools than I do and has had more experience with them. Next item up. Okay, we're talking service cards. So here's a picture of all the service cards currently available, and here's another picture showing you that there is a gap and that my Harbor Freight does not yet carry any Icon toolboxes of any size. Not their 36 service card, not the 56 inch that we have, not nothing. There is no Icon, anything. It is all still special order. However, some stores do carry them. That being said, I was a little bit disheartened that they actually did have it under the new items list, but I think that if they did not tell you that it's special order, your store will, and that's probably why you're not seeing it on the floor. So if you're wondering where all the icon boxes are, you gotta ask and you gotta order it. Different colors to choose from, of course. Next picture is gonna come down to the Braun undercar light, okay? It's a 110 plug-in, thousand lumens. I think they even had a 1500 lumen light there. These things are phenomenal. From any heavy line text perspective, you want tons of light to cascade up and under hood lights just not gonna work for you, but you could put a little roll cart or service cart underneath the car, plug one of these bad boys in, tilt it down, shine it up, light up the entire undercarriage. That's with the bay door closed or open. Most shops are actually relatively dark, so the more lighting, the better. Most of us mechanics have tons of lights. If you don't believe me, look at the most recent one that I just picked up from Matco. You can check it out on my Instagram feed. Let's go to the next item, but they, at least they had that one in the store. All right, the other item that I thought was actually quite handy, and your wife will actually love you for this, were these new clamps they came out with. Look a lot like the Milwaukee ones that I have, and I'll try to put a picture down here for you guys as well but they come in at a fraction of the cost. These things are handy for hanging up blankets when you want them to air dry, other clothing material if you wanna hang dry them specifically and not put them in the dryer, afraid they're gonna shrink. These things work out great. They also work out great for wood projects and I don't recommend using them for metal projects, but I suppose you could. At least they had them in the store. All right, next item up. So I was in there looking for this, uh, what was it, a router, okay? There was a router that they had made by Bauer did not see this 
anywhere on the Bauer lineup. Was looking around, didn't see it, but it is pretty cool that they're actually offering it to you. And if I'm not mistaken, it wasn't half bad of a deal. Next item up was the Maddox uh, Block Checker. Okay, I didn't know. I saw that they had the fluid available. I saw that they actually had the Maddox Block Checker Tester Tool available. Did not see it on the shelf, but it is a key tool in the automotive realm, okay? Because you got a lot of cars that come in. Maybe they have some hesitation. Maybe they have some overheating issues that you can't exactly narrow down. Bleeding the system doesn't work. You're going to want to check the block. Okay, and there are some old school tricks, and I think Old School Funk did a real good job showing you guys some of those tricks. I'll try to see if I can't put his channel down in the description for you if you guys haven't checked him out. He's an old dog, okay? He's an old school YouTuber. He showed you a lot of life hacks when it comes to automotive repairs and specialty tools and even how to pass the smog. So you want to check him out. He's got lots of great content, but nonetheless did not see it at Harbor Freight whatsoever. Hopefully they start stocking it pretty soon. Maybe it's an online order or special order as well. Next item up made by Chief. Now they did have some new carbide bits, both for aluminum as well as cast iron. Comes in at a little bit of a cost, but what carbide bits don't? I was surprised to see how much they wanted for a four-piece set though. I did most recently within the last 12 months buy some Kodiak ones online, and I think they came in at around 100, maybe a little bit over 100 bucks. I'd have to go back and relook, but I'm probably not gonna do that. I'm just going to let you guys know that carbide bits do come in handy, but they do come at a cost. You want to be sure which ones you're actually going to use. Now, the ones that are dual flute, okay, those are the ones with the double crisscross that are more finer, those are going to be made more for cast iron. The ones with the single flute, which you'll see to the right in this picture down here, those are meant more for aluminum because you can easily clean out the particles with a wire brush. 60 bucks a piece, you're going to find them over next to the Chief and the Chicago and the Earthquake pneumatic tools. So if you're not sure where they are in the store, head on over to the air tool section. Just take a look at the top rack and you'll find your Chief carbide bits. So those are the tools that are most recently new that I did not know that Harbor Freight currently stocked or made available for you to order that I would definitely give a second look to if you are looking for those specific tools. That's all I got for this video. Guys, if I missed anything or you saw something different in their new catalog lineup of new tools that just recently came out that you're interested in, that you possibly want to know who did what review on it, let me know down in the comments as well as let me know what new tools you hope that they're going to be coming out with. It could be Icon. It could be Chief. Let me know your experience and what it is that you look to see from Harbor Freight next. That's all I got for this video. We'll see you guys next time. Cheers. And deuces.